I have told you guys several times that Nigeria is not on the same level with any African country. But some of you people don't want to believe. Some people are still doubting. Some people are not seeing what I'm talking about. But I am bringing more evidence. And the video I'm about to show you now, what I'm going to tell you in this video we make you understand why I tell you guys all the time that the vision that Nigeria have, where Nigeria is walking to, what Nigeria is doing, you see, is not on the Africa level. It's not on the African standards. I've told you people in the past that Nigeria is the only African country that wants to catch up with the rest of the world. Because during the industrial age, Africa was left behind. Only Nigeria in Africa has managed to build industries, build factories build production plants, build places where we, they can produce things and depend on what is happening in other African countries. Nothing is happening. So we literally missed the industrial era. The technology era came. Guess what? Africa still miss out. At least we still have some Nigerians who are struggling in the tech area, building fintech. Nigeria is one of the best in the world in terms of financial technology and so many other areas of tech. So tech era still came and africa slept but guess what artificial intelligence era is on now and guess what african countries are still sleeping they only know how to make mouth here and there talk blah, 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 blah. compare themselves with nigeria they could just they talk anyhow but the reaction what nigeria is doing they cannot even come close you get these are basic simple things that you must first of all understand that you cannot miss an error if you want to catch up with the rest of the world, those are the significant errors that we have missed. And now we are in artificial intelligence era. And Nigeria has said, I will not miss it for anything. I will be competing with the best. Nigeria is saying that they will be competing with China. Sorry guys, before we continue, let me just share with you this simple business opportunity that can change your life. I know you like to make more money. I know say Nigeria, I know they carry last. And I know our people are hardworking. That's why I decided that, wow, since I've come across this opportunity from one of our followers here who has been consistent and showing me love, I said, no, let me also share their business because a lot of people might benefit from this. So it's a very simple business and you can do it as a part-time. But if you don't have a job, you can also take it up as your full-time something because it can really bring you some cash into your pocket if you take it seriously. But even if you just do it casually, you will still make some cool cash. This is very, very interesting. So do not even stress yourself. You just need to go to the website I'm showing you on your screen or scan the QR code that's on the side, been a code, that been a code, and then you will get every information and everything you need. As a matter of fact, if that's not enough, you can contact our sister via her WhatsApp number that I'm putting on the screen to get more details. I guarantee you, Oga, okay, this thing, knowledge is something we're going to give you a deck with easy, easy way to do it. You get? So, if you're scared that the registration stuff and all of that, don't bother. If you register and you discover that the business is not going or you cannot do it, they will simply refund you back in 30 days. You understand? 30 days from when you register. They will refund you back. So if you're in Europe, if you're in America, if you're anywhere abroad, this is the best way for you to start making some small money to pay your bills while doing your job. Or if you don't have any job yet, you can do it full time for now. But if you're in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa, you can still try as well because anywhere in the world, you can do this business. With America, we're the best in the world in the era of artificial intelligence. And Nigeria will not sleep again and allow this opportunity to pass by just like it happened in the past. And that is why this news is very important because Nigeria has actually started building the first AI university in Africa. The first AI university. The first AI university that will compete with China, with America and the rest of the world to put us on the map that when artificial intelligence started, Africa was not left behind. Africa was standing in line to do exactly what everyone else is doing. If not, they go still use us. They go still see us finish, pour spit for our face. That is what has been happening for a very long time. And are we going to continue in that same direction or Africa is going to rise? At least for now, Nigeria is defending us. So as you can see, 
Nigeria to open the first AI university in Ekbe, Lagos. You understand? The writer of this article is not trying to be a Pan-African because the article is focused on Nigeria. But I see this at the Pan-African level because Africa needs this. So this is now an opportunity for Cameroonians who want to study artificial intelligence. You can start thinking of going to study artificial intelligence in Nigeria. South Africans, humble yourself. Don't be proud. Eh? Nigerians will still welcome you. Go to Nigeria, study artificial intelligence because you people don't have the university yet in South Africa, but Nigeria is building one already. And Ghana and every other African country, this is your perfect opportunity. At least, that's why I keep saying Nigeria remains the giant of Africa and that will never change because only Nigeria is defending this continent. Only Nigeria is making sure that this continent has some dignity, has some respect, has some pride with the kind of things that Nigeria is doing. And so, this one is an open call for Africans to wake up and join Nigeria on this artificial intelligence game whereby Nigeria is just starting. Now, I want to give you guys some details on this artificial intelligence so you can see how powerful this is. You get? So, as of 2040, basically just about 20 years from now or 15 years from now, hmm, the artificial intelligence market will be about $4.6 trillion. The artificial intelligence market will be about $4.6 trillion. It will be probably bigger than the American economy. You understand what I'm talking about? At AI intelligence market, 15 years from now, is projected to be worth $4.6 trillion. Now imagine, as Africans, just ask yourself one question. If the artificial intelligence era come and this is the economy, like the industry, how much is the industrial uh, economy worth? How much is the industrial market worth? You know why we are suffering in Africa? Because we don't have factories, we don't have industries. All our raw materials they carry to go and process there. Like I was hearing something that was really, really terrible. Because what happens is in the cocoa market, for example, where Africa produces all the cocoa, Africa gets only 2% of the income of the entire cocoa. Germany that does not produce cocoa at all gets more than the entire continent of Africa. Because they have the factories, they have the system. So imagine that it comes to a point where artificial intelligence is now the one that is taking over, which will eventually be, and the economy is worth 4.6 trillion, and Africa has less than 1% of this money. If, yeah, far less than 1% of this. So we will still be hanging behind complaining that our leaders are not good, everything is this, bad, 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 as we have been singing the same song. You see, that's why we need to start taking action now. We need to start doing something now. To change the narrative. If not, we will sing that same song forever. We will continue singing this our yeye song. The song don't tire me. I, I, to be honest, the song of Africa is full of bad leaders. Africa is suffering from corruption. Africa is suffering from neocolonialism. This is what Nigeria is doing to stop it. How do we stop the neocolonialism? How do we rise to the same standard as these guys? This is the only way we can actually do it by making sure we do not miss any more errors so this is a very important update that i think every african every african should be proud of this one that nigeria is doing so the winning university ekpe lagos those of you who know ekpe lagos those lagosians that's why i keep saying lagos lagos is something for africa man if you don't believe it believe it for me today lagos is something for africa you see if there's anything you can do in Lagos, eh, any business, anything you can do in Lagos, find a way to do it. Just figure it out now and do it gradually, quietly. Because that place will become the different... <laughs> People don't know what Lagos will become. So, the Winnie University aims to do more than just tech. It is about to create the tech ecosystem that could transform Lagos into African Silicon Valley. Africa is already the, uh, Lagos is already the Silicon Valley of Africa, by the way. So this person just wants to, this university just wants to solidify it. You understand? So the focus will be equipping the students with in-demand skills like blockchains, quantum computing, machine learning, generative AI, making them active players in the booming global AI market in the booming AI global market. And with the global AI market expected to hit $4.6 trillion by 2040, this is going to be a huge step to put Africa at the global tech map. So with this, 
Africa shouldn't miss the global tech map. This is a very interesting one. So the decision to build Egbert ties into Lagos State's larger vision of becoming the California of Africa. When I know they hear to they talk, Lagos will become the California of Africa. Yes. And the president is pushing for this, actually. The president of Nigeria is pushing for this to make sure that this is this comes to existence. This is a real story so that it's no longer something we'll be talking. We want to see Lagos become the California of Africa because they are already the Silicon Valley of Africa, whether you like it or not. So Lagos is ready. Nigeria is ready to tell China, to tell America that we will not remain a nyash, a nyash economy as Donald Trump talked. <laughs> a nyash hole, a nyash hole economy as Donald Trump described us uh, 80 years ago. You get? So it's about time the continent wakes up. And there is no better way than us building what we can build. Than us showing the rest of the world that Africa did not come here to play. When you go to China today, small children in China, what they are doing in schools, in primary schools in China today, is what many of us who are adults cannot do. Children in China are producing cloths. They have mini factories in school where each child comes and sits, they give him a design, the child produces it. That is what China is doing with their education system. China is directly grooming the children to take over the world. One child from China now will just graduate, leave China, come to South Africa, come to Ghana, come to Zimbabwe, come to Cameroon and open factory there and control it because he has the skill, he's able to do it. We are unable. We are unable. We don't have the skills. For Africans, even if you go to other African countries today, thank God for Nigeria, and they talk these people with a joke. Go to other African countries today, eh? For that country to build a factory or build anything, they have to go to Europe, go to China, go to America, bring experts to come and do it. That is the reality of Africa today. And this shouldn't be the same thing with the artificial intelligence era. This shouldn't be the same thing that will happen to Africa in the tech era. We have to wake up. We have to wake up. So this innovation by the America, uh, Nigeria government the Lagos government to take Africa to this level, to put Africa on the global stage, is something to celebrate. They have seen what is happening. They have seen how many Nigerian youths are being carried out of the country, are working for Facebook, working for uh, TikTok, working for Elon Musk, working for all these diasporans, and yet they still don't have any respect for Africa. Yet they still they look down on Africa. They still they look at the poor speed for our face. So it's about time we do it differently. And I love the approach that Nigeria is taking this time around. I love the way Nigeria is going head to head competition. Let Nigeria is big enough to compete with China. That's what Nigeria say all the time. Eh? If we use all of our resources, we should be able to compete with America, compete with China. We have done it in the past. Where is China before? China was begging to survive from Africa 50 years ago. So we should rise and be able to compete with them and be on the global stage and show them that we too are capable. That is how it's supposed to be. And that is how it should be. You get my point? So guys, chill and relax. Nigeria got Africa's back. That one I tell you people for free. And it is what it is. Your boy Ajim is on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free. Because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers.